the purpose of the report was twofold. First, it was to identify the different areas of corruption across the digital advertising supply chain. And then the second was to estimate the cost to the industry. Um, we estimated that the cost, all told, was $8.2 billion. Uh, the, the largest piece was invalid traffic at $4.6 billion, uh, followed up by infringed content at $2.5 billion, and then finally malvertising at $1.1 billion. It impacts the entire ecosystem. So it impacts publishers, ad tech, advertisers, agencies. Uh, it impacts everybody. Um, we determined that there was two buckets of cost. One were incurred costs, and then there was lost opportunity costs. So for example, incurred costs are cost to fight. So cost to um, reduce invalid traffic, uh, reduce infringed content and malware. Um, also the cost to an advertiser for paying for invalid or fraudulent traffic. That was 59% of the 8.2 billion. Then on the other part, there's the lost opportunity costs. That was at 41% of the 8.2 billion. Um, for example, cost to content creators and content owners for their content being stolen and then money being earned uh, by the bad guys as it relates to uh, infringed content. All of this is illegal activity. Um, so it's, it's very, very serious stuff. Um, you know, different techniques that they use. Uh, one is what we like to call uh, the life cycle of fraud. Uh, so for example, um, a consumer might start by accessing a site with infringed content. Um, you go to that site and you know, to access uh, a movie, a TV program, or music. Those sites are full of malware. So you don't even realize that that malware is being delivered to your browser. Uh, one of the reasons is in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, uh, they trigger uh, the malware to drive the invalid traffic. So it can start with the infringed content, it turns to malware, and then finally to invalid traffic. So there's a whole life cycle to how it works. When we looked at invalid traffic, what our approach was, it was a very holistic approach. So we started with the IAB's revenue report from the prior year, and we basically put the revenue into different buckets. So for example, we looked at uh, desktop versus mobile. We also looked at pricing uh, models, so CPM-based, uh, versus performance base. So right now, performance base is about 70% of the total. Um, and then we also further uh, broke it down uh, versus display and video. You know, why is that important? Well, the marketplace will continue to shift. And across those different buckets of revenue, you have different invalid traffic rates. So we saw a range from about 6% up to 12%. The largest rate that we saw for invalid traffic was for mobile video. Um, that didn't mean it was the largest rate overall within invalid traffic, it had the highest rate. And the reason we believe that's important is over time, the market's gonna continue to shift, it's dynamic. The EY point of view, we expressed in the report and we tell people this every day, is we need to improve just some basic fundamental business practices. For example, knowing who you're doing business with before you engage and do business with a company, doing background checks, looking at tax IDs and address, also having compliance officer functions to help fight these different areas. Right now, part of the problem is, is that you engage in business with people um, that you're not even sure who they are or you don't know them. So th that was our point of view. Relying on the study, um, we saw that the number as it relates to invalid traffic was significant. So, you know, overall a 4.4, you know, billion dollar number. Um, however, looking at our data, um, you did see that um, what we would call the long tail has higher rates compared to um, what you would call more premium publishers or more trafficked, trafficked site. Still, looking at the rates, the number um, was 4.4 billion.